I had pain in my legs, pain in my butt, um, and numbness in my feet. I'm an engineer. And, and I've managed projects. And so it got to the point where um, it was so bad that I couldn't travel and actually walk my project sites anymore. When you got the results of the MRI back, it, you know, it showed some issues, but not to the point that he was comfortable that it could really explain what was what was happening with me. She couldn't really explain what was wrong either. That was very frustrating to me because I knew there was something going on, you know, but but nobody could explain what was wrong with me. Again, it was I can't really help you, have a nice day. All of these people looked at me like I was crazy. There's nothing wrong with you to explain these symptoms. And so um, that was probably the biggest frustration is I got tired of being laughed at. It was like a breath of fresh air. He was very willing to talk to me, very interested in helping me, interested in who I was as a person and what it was that was bothering me, what hurt. And so we went from there. like a whole new person, like I have a, a new lease on life. Um, there's definitely a light at the end of my very long tunnel. I can see a future again because I was starting to think that maybe there wasn't much. After the first surgery, I, I, I bought myself a gift. And this, this is a mountainscape on here. On, on the inside it says, love life, courage, truth, honor. I've always loved life, but now I feel like I can actually do something about that again. There needs to be better understanding in the medical community about piriformis syndrome. Two neurologists and three spine surgeons not a single one of them ever, ever mentioned the piriformis muscle or piriformis syndrome. I love the man. <laughs> it's like, he is wonderful because he has helped me so much.